We'll get right into this episode, but first, I just want to remind everyone that while it may look like things are returning to normal, there's a very good possibility that these lockdowns will continue into next year. And if that happens, it's more likely that we're all going to have to deal with food shortages. Don't just wait and hope that things are going to work out. Be proactive and make sure that you and your family won't have to worry about food shortages. And I trust and use my Patriot Supply. You can too. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70. Those that know what's coming are preparing. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. Preparewithdronetech.com. It's no secret that the media and CNN in particular are little more than mouthpieces for the Democrat Party. But even so, it still boggles the mind to watch these people who call themselves journalists and leave no doubt that they are anything but. Jake Tapper demonstrated this beautifully yesterday during a propaganda session with Nancy Pelosi. And you may watch this and think, hey, he's not a lapdog. He's asking her tough questions. That's a big negative. What he's doing is asking questions that sound tough, but are actually just criticisms of Nancy Pelosi from the far left. All he's really asking is, why aren't you more left-wing and more ruthless towards the Republicans? This is a political strategic discussion between political operatives. When Senator Schumer made this major concession on the most recent legislation, uh, because you, you it made it okay so in this no. one, for the... It wasn't a concession. No, well, I mean, here, Governor the, Andrew Cuomo, let me... The, the, I understand what Andrew Cuomo said, and I, I respect his perspective as a governor. So Cuomo says he would have insisted on state funding uh, in the last bill. You, you, and now Senator McConnell is saying he wants to push the pause button. Uh, yes. Was this a tactical mistake by you and Senator Schumer? Just calm down. We will have state and local, and we will have it in a very significant way. Yeah, calm down, Clapper. You're getting a little too uppity and not subservient enough for the queen. You see what I mean about Tapper appearing to ask tough, probing questions? But it's all from the left. I challenge anyone watching to go out there and see if you can find a single example of Tapper or anybody in the media ever going after a Republican for giving too many concessions to a Democrat. I'll go ahead and save you the trouble. It doesn't happen. What you will find is the media and Democrats constantly pressuring Republicans to concede in situations like government shutdowns, which always ends up being blamed on the Republicans and their lack of concessions. Tapper even frets that McConnell may put a pause on this spending because obviously that's not good good, proving Tapper isn't objective and does have an agenda. Just so we're clear on what legislation was passed here, as Breitbart reported, the legislation contains $321 billion for the depleted check protection program, which provides aid to small businesses. The legislation also includes $60 billion in loans and grants for economic disaster assistance and $75 billion for hospitals, $25 billion for coronavirus testing. Tapper should be slamming Pelosi for holding this legislation up for the last 60 days. Let's just set the right record there, straight here. I mean, there was a clean, there was a clean bill that once they found out that the, the small business pot was going to be dry, there was a clean bill to put more money in it. Nancy Pelosi did not go forward right. with that. Period. The end. Stop there. If the roles were reversed, the media would be parading Republicans on to frame as horrible monsters for keeping food out of people's mouths. Just think, while all these small businesses are standing around wondering if they're going to be able to pay their employees, the media is covering for Nancy Pelosi and the late night shows are parading around her collection of ice cream. After Pelosi told Tapper to calm down, he dutifully obliged her order and allowed her to just give a rambling speech without responding to any of it. In stark contrast, just the day before, Tapper was a assaulting the Republican Party as villains of America for not capitulating to the Democrat Party and their media. There is going to be a history of this era written, and those who are pretending this irresponsibility is not happening, they will be remembered as villains. If we have Democrat Party propagandists writing the history, there's no doubt that their political opposition will be framed as the villains. I'm sorry, but when has the Republican Party ever not been framed as the villains by the media? It's a narrative that's been going on for the last 30 years, and I think we all know it's not going to stop. Look, the media in modern times exist to advance the Democrat Party and demonize their opposition as monsters. So Tapper did ask one sort of tough question that should have led to criticism of Pelosi, but instead he just lets her get away with contradictions herself. President Trump's partial travel restrictions uh, on January 31st blocking foreign nationals from China from coming to the United States. D do you agree that it was the right move by President Trump at the time? 
Well, let, let's go into the future, okay? It wasn't as it is described as this great moment. The, there were Americans coming back or green card holders coming back. So if you're going to shut the door because you have a, an evaluation of, of an epidemic, then shut the door. <laughs> Shit. Let me get this straight. Trump should have barred American citizens from returning home. I think it's pretty safe to say that had he done that, he would have been attacked mercilessly by the media. We don't even need to speculate about this. Jake Tapper concocted a conspiracy theory to explain why Trump wasn't letting a cruise ship full of American citizens to return home. The president's desire to artificially keep the numbers low by keeping Americans who are off the coast out of the United States is that desire impacting health decisions to help save these Americans who have coronavirus or who could possibly have it? I understand you don't want to get into politics, but can you assure the American people that decisions are not being made just because the president wants to keep the numbers low? If you need any more proof, just look at the headlines concerning Trump's ban on immigration. He's doing exactly what Pelosi wants, yet her media is concocting a racism narrative. Remember, this is an election year, and these people have rationalized any action to get Trump out of office. Lastly, I want to leave you with this last bit of Zen, solidifying the undeniable fact that our media only exists to advance the Democrat Party. Over at MSNBC, the open socialist Stephanie Rule was helping Nancy Pelosi to take credit for the legislation she was responsible for holding up. The interview goes on just like the one with Tapper, with Nancy Pelosi giving a long speech unchallenged by the host. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for this additional $320 billion. American business needs it. I appreciate all that everyone in our government is doing right now to help us in this trying time. Thanks for your time this morning. Well, thank you for your um, object uh, uh, view of it all because that's all very helpful. It's all very helpful. Thank you so much for I your attention to this important right. issue. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yes. <laughs> So, so objective. God, did you notice how much they thanked each other? No doubt these people are justifying their behavior because they're telling themselves that Trump is an existential threat. And when you have an existential threat, anything goes. This is exactly the kind of behavior I've been talking about all these years when I say that the left can rationalize anything and that makes them dangerous to the rest of us. Use your imagination to see all the horrible possibilities of where this could lead us. That's all for this episode. As always, like, share, subscribe, and check out these links if you want to support this channel. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.